why do some people think what what will the world give me and what is the trap behind thinking that way versus how can I be of service to the world? Well, they're givers and takers and uh, hopefully I am a giver and I will do less blaming and pushing myself for more and more and more. You know, I just do the best I can and that's good enough. Yeah. Good enough is good enough. Have you been blaming for a while? I, I have been maybe rough on myself that I could do more than I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But I am forgiving myself right. that I give and do the best I can do. Yeah, yeah. I do get up in the morning and I look at life as one day. The morning sunshine will not come back. And, uh, and I'm very comfortable at 95, mm -hmm. hoping maybe that I do what's humanly possible yeah. and then hand it over to God. Wow, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've got a few more questions I want to ask you, um, mm -hmm. but I, I wanted to ask uh, the biggest lessons that your sister taught you because mm -hmm. you both experienced a very tragic event and for many months together. You both, you know, learned to heal and you came together and you've, you know, you've had a great experience with her. What have been the, what have been the biggest lessons that she taught you? Because she was your older sister, correct? My older sister. Yeah. I was the youngest mm -hmm. in the family. The most charming, right, in the family. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh. I think my parents really wanted a son after two girls, and I came along, and that was not what they wanted, mm -hmm. and I felt it. Um, Magda, was a very good survivor. She was full of jokes. We always talked about food. Mm -hmm. That's all we talked about, <laughs> food. I think she stopped really living and uh, it's been now perhaps many, many months or maybe years that she gave up her piano. Mm. She gave up her piano lessons and she gave up bridge. Mm -hmm. She was a bridge player. I think she played with Omar Sharif, but I cannot guarantee. Mm -hmm. But Magda has been uh, extremely brilliant with uh, numbers. So what she did in school, she did your homework, but she didn't want your money. She wants you to bring her food. <laughs> a roast beef sandwich, or mm. God knows, fried chicken. Maybe <laughs> fried chicken was always very good. My mother bought little chickens, mm. and it was so delicious. Wow. Or Hungarian salami. Have you been to Hungary? I haven't been. Uh, no, I've been to Poland uh, and other places in Europe, but no, not Hungary. To Hungary. I'll have to go. Yeah. I think the Hungarians are good survivors as a rule. Mm -hmm. What's the thing you'll hold? There is a song in Hungary that the woman is is best when she's beaten up. Wow. It's not very kind. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. kind. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, Hungarian women learned how to deal with men mm. and give them compli compliments even when they don't deserve it. 
Wow. So the men are wise, not smart, but wise. Mm -hmm. How to go through the man's stomach wow. and make him the food that he likes. Mm -hmm. Like a certain roast beef that you make in Hungary and stuff. Wow. Or the chicken with a lot of paprika on it and garlic on it. I make I make a very good garlic chicken. Mm, you do. Right I now. make it. Next today. time, I'm, next time I'm in San Diego, I'm gonna get some Tell chicken. Tell me, and I will. I'll, I'll, I'm there for the chicken. I'll, I'll do. I'll do the. The chicken. Do. The chicken and a dance with you. Okay. Yes. Okay. A little it's salsa. A deal. Yeah. It's a deal. What would you say is the thing you hold in your heart dearest about your sister? The thing you'll you'll take with you. Her humor. Her humor. Yeah. Her humor. Yeah. She had a lot of humor, a lot of humor about uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. I didn't have at all, and I don't have that kind of sense of humor. Mm. You've got a great sense of humor. I, yeah. I do what? It's different. It's different. Yes. Yeah. I have a question about. Your, your, your secret to living a long, healthy life and with experiencing pain, tragedy, trauma, loss, sadness, you, you continue to thrive in your see, life. See, when you were touched inappropriately, mm -hmm. you probably would have come to me and say, Edie, I don't know how to tell you that mm -hmm. because you went to Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. And my answer would be, I knew the enemy. You didn't. Don't minimize it. Mm. You have the right to be angry. But not to hold on to it or live by it. You got to go through the rage. Scream it out. Yeah. yeah. But don't get addicted to it. Don't do anything in excess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Drinking, smoking. Right. Raging. Yeah. Rage. Yeah. Well, rage is uh, fear. Yeah. Fear. And the biggest fear of a child is the fear of abandonment. Mm -hmm. That is important. Yeah. especially in midlife. That is not a crisis, but a transition. You don't have your periods anymore, but you know, who wants to have babies anyway? Mm. No problem. Mm -hmm. um, but I work with midlife issues a lot on a daily basis. And it's a, it's a new beginning. Yeah. It's a new beginning. You become older and wiser, mm -hmm. not older and senile. Right. So you're going to write another book? Uh, yeah, yeah, working on another book, which has right. a lot of teachings about healing in right. the book as well. So, and overcoming that. But uh, that's yeah, that's part of the vision. But I'm, I'm curious for you, though, what, what do you feel like has been one of the keys to living a long, healthy life and uh, with challenges and tragedy. Not to lie to yourself. Mm -hmm. and not to not to try to please other people. Mm -hmm. Give up the need for approval of others. I think that's number one. Mm -hmm. If you like me, fine. If you don't, that's okay. It doesn't mean I was rejected. Rejection is an English word that people make up to express a feeling when you don't get what you want. Mm. Give up the drama. Yeah. No one can reject me but me. Mm. That's true. Don't say I was rejected. No. Nobody has any power. But you can reject yourself. You can. And that's the biggest betrayal, if you do it to yourself. You better 
have a talk with yourself. Mm -hmm. Find that little boy who is still crying and looking for a good, loving parent. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And be a good mommy to you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've Eat done... your spinach. <laughs> Do you feel like you've been a good parent to yourself over the years? I could have been better. Uh, but the two questions are important. Number one, when did your childhood end? Mm. If you're a child of an immigrant, you end up taking care of your parents. You never had a childhood. You never had a childhood. Very important. And the second question is, would you like to be married to you? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yes. You gotta I reflect. ask people to ask themselves. What do people say, usually? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's up to you. Mm -hmm. Who do you attract? That's true. There is no right feeling or wrong feeling. There is only my feeling. Yeah. And underneath of anger is fear. So it's very good to ride on all your fears from the least anxiety producing to the most anxiety. And then we knock them down mm. because you were not 